Madison students in the Hazleton Area School District are reacting about the hacking of a kindergarten orientation on Zoom. The hackers showed pornographic images and used disturbing language. The question now, what's being done to prevent it from happening when students return to virtual classes? The I-Team's Andy Mahalshik went in search of answers and joins us live now in Hazel Township. Andy. Good afternoon, Mark. District officials admit that the hackers were able to access that Zoom orientation meeting because a security setting was not turned on. But they also insist that virtual classes will be safe and secure. When my daughter was like, what, what's going on, Mom? Why is my school doing that? Um, I had to send her away because then it continued. Ariella Cologne says she just could not believe what she and her daughter were seeing and hearing during a kindergarten orientation for students from the Immaculate Claire's Elementary School Thursday morning using Zoom. Pornographic images and obscene language showed up on their computer screens. Eyewitness News went to the person who's in charge of the district's technology, Dr. Ken Briggs, for answers. He admits a security setting was not turned on. Zoom is a very simple to use um, product and a good product. I'm not going to knock Zoom. Um, but the, the settings in, 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 in Zoom, if you look at the uh, settings, you, you click on them, there are several pages of settings. And apparently one of them was missed when he created the meeting. Dr. Briggs says the problem started with a web post. The principal posted the um, meeting link, the URL and the meeting password on the web page for the school. Um, that way parents could look at it and you know click on it and they have the password. Um, unfortunately, that also means that people all around the world could have looked at that and got into the same meeting. So what's being done to prevent it from happening again? We'll, we have to re-educate re and reinforce policies that if we're going to use Zoom, we have to have these settings. The security settings have to look like, um, you know, so that they are disabled for screen sharing for remote users. Only the host will have control of the meeting. And Briggs tells Eyewitness News that virtual classes will not be using Zoom. This is not the platform that we will be using for online education. Um, we will be using Microsoft Teams, which is a much more secure platform. We're able to lock Microsoft Teams down so that only users within the Hazleton Area School District can get into it and also only those who are invited in by the teacher can get into it. Now the school district is working very closely with the state police to investigate this hacky situation and Superintendent Brian Uplinger tells me today that they will prosecute those responsible to the fullest extent of the law. Reporting live in Hazel Township, Luzerne County, Andy Bohalshik, Eyewitness News. Mark? Helping those virtual classes go a whole lot smoother, Andy. Thanks.